Pearly Oyster, A Tale of an Amazing Oyster by Suzanne Tate, illustrated by James Melvin. Pearly Oyster was a common oyster. Her house was made of two shells. The shells were gray and rough and ugly on the outside. But Pearly's shell was pretty on the inside. She was smooth and pink and pearly white. Pearly began life as a tiny animal. She floated in the water and ate tiny plants drifting there. In a very short time, she had two little shells. So there she is drifting in the ocean. When Pearlie was only two weeks old, she settled to the bottom of the water. She attached herself to a log. Pearlie was not lonesome there. Other oysters were on the log too. They were called a bed of oysters. One day, when Pearlie was still young, a tiny crab crawled into her shell. The tiny crab was Miss Patty P. Crab. She stayed inside Pearlie's shell all the time. Whenever Pearlie opened her mouth to feed, Miss Patty ate the leftovers. How are you doing, Miss Patty, said to Pearlie one morning. Not so good, replied Pearlie. I have this terrible itch. How did you get that, asked Miss Patty. Last night when I was feeding, a grain of sand floated into my mouth. Now I can't get rid of it, said Pearlie. I heard that a grain of sand in oysters becomes something beautiful, said Miss Patty. I don't believe that, said Pearlie. You have to have faith, replied Miss Patty. Well, I don't believe in anything I can't see, said Pearlie. It's just a bad itch to me. Pearlie tried to forget her itch. She opened up her mouth to feed. Even though she stayed in one place, there was plenty of food. One day, Petey P. Crab came along. He was Miss Patty's boyfriend. When Pearlie opened her mouth to feed, he would sneak right in. Petey P. Crab was much smaller than Miss Patty. He didn't try to stay inside Pearlie. He just came to visit. Your boyfriend is a little feller. Pearlie said to Miss Patty. Aren't you robbing the cradle? Oh, he's the same age as I, replied Miss Patty. He's just little. But we get along like two peas in the pod. Now the grain of sand was getting bigger and bigger. Pearlie had been covering it with juice inside her shell. It helped the itch. Miss Patty could see something shiny and white and beautiful. That grain of sand had become a pearl. Pearly could hardly believe it. Something good had come out of something bad. Miss Patty Pea Crab was excited. You see how pretty that grain of sand is now, she said. Let's have a party to show it off. Pearly agreed. The news went fast through the oyster bed. Pearlie would show off a brand new pearl. She opened up her shell so the other oysters could see the pearl. And they opened up their mouths in amazement. Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, how pretty your pearl is, Pearlie, they all said. You are amazing. Pearlie thanked them politely. Just think. I first took that itch with a grain of sand, and now it is a beautiful pearl. Then she said to Miss Patty, I'm going to give you the pearl for a wedding gift. Miss Patty was so excited that she jumped up and down. It tickled Pearlie. It's been an exciting day, Pearlie said. She closed up her shell and settled down on the log to rest. 
Now it is time to go to bed.